the motors are safe behind the town. This footage of my daughter's delight upon seeing the moon reminds me of yet another film I never made. That's a very big moon. Oh, stay up! The moon! It would have been the story of an out-of-work actor and ventriloquist who found a very lucrative loophole in an outer space treaty. You own everything except the planet Earth right now in this solar system. How did you uh, come to get it? This was all predicated on the Outer Space Treaty of 1967, where it states no nation shall have sovereignty or control over any of the satellite bodies. But it doesn't mention individuals. I filed a declaration of ownership for the moon of Earth and the other eight planets and their moons with the United Nations, the United States, and the Russian government. And as long as they didn't have a problem with it, I would proceed and ask them to respond to me, and they never did. For about $20, you can buy a one-acre plot of land on the moon via his website, LunarEmbassy.com. How much money have you made, can I ask, in terms of gross sales? We've generated just under $7 million in gross revenue. $7 million in selling this property, the moon, Mars. Correct. I'm drawn to the Dennis Hope story for three main reasons. First, I'm amazed that he's not a household name. His rags-to-riches story truly embodies the American dream. However, when I YouTubed him, all I found was this clip from a Portuguese news station. Secondly, I'm intrigued by his earnest, humorless, legal persona or affect. The deeds that are presented and the titles that we issue from the Lunar Embassy headquarters in the United States of America are as valid for the property that we sell as any title in any government on this planet. I was surprised to find that before this businessman, legalistic persona, he had a completely different image. I watched all of the movie clips on his website and noticed that in the early days he was sporting a baseball cap, had a casual, friendly demeanor, saying things like... When I first started, I thought it was really funny, you know, that this is probably a really neat gag yeah, yeah. We're just selling property, having a great time. Then when NBC, Fox News, CNN began to cover him, it became a typical fluff piece story. There's no guarantee who your neighbors on the red planet may be, Sharon. Yeah, your neighbors could be Martian. Take her now. What does NASA have to say all about this? Finally, I'm fascinated by the fact that something that began as a novelty industry is actually heading down the road towards legitimacy. Here's his Congressional National Leadership Award, which recognized outstanding service and commitment to Republican ideals. It also commended him for promoting fiscal responsibility in business. I wonder if this is what they meant by fiscal responsibility. Have you sold off Saturn or anything yet? One of the real problems with Saturn is this, that it's a gas planet, and we're not exactly sure how much real dirt is involved. Good point. You don't, you, you, us, you don't want to sell us something we don't get here. Yeah, it would be remiss of us to try and sell because we don't have suitable maps for subdivisions. And in terms of legitimacy, he sold land to individuals from over 200 countries. And listen to his list of clients. We have two former presidents of the United States that are property owners. The sitting president of the United States is a property owner. Celebrities like George Lucas, Ron Howard, Tom Hanks, Tom Cruise, Nicole Kidman, John Travolta, Barbara Walters. Mick Jagger, Clint Eastwood, Harrison Ford, several employees of NASA, the Hilton and Marriott Hotels, the Pope, and William Shatner. It's like he's tapped into this international consciousness of what if. Mommy and Daddy own some, a piece of the moon. Part of it belongs to all of us. We bought it for us. We bought it for us and to give to you. Mm -hmm.